Hello, I'm Katherine Ross and I'm here at the NYSC with Jim Cramer. Hi Katherine, how are you? Doing well, how Good. are you? Good, thank you. All right, so I want to start off with the real money stock of the day, which is PepsiCo. Also just announced earnings and I'm curious to know what you think about this quarter. Well, you know what, it's interesting. We sold PepsiCo for action alerts and higher. The reason why we sold it was because of raw costs, because of escalation of a trucking, aluminum can, uh, and those all played out. And I think that what people looked at were those two plus currency and decided there really isn't as much growth as we thought. What's unfair is that all of those were predictable and the nickel down, uh, Hugh Johnson assured me, was just because of currency. But what this, what this says to me, Catherine, is look out. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have J&J, &J, which is an actual alert name. You're gonna have Pfizer. We have to, they'll be all affected by the dollar. And we need this out first. We need everyone to know that it's a headwind and therefore it's not surprised. I was actually surprised that anyone felt that it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, otherwise the organic growth was quite good. So I didn't think the number was that bad, but I recognized we sold it because we were worried about raw costs, raw cost theory playing out, it's a good sale. Yeah, and what about, um, I know that they're having a little bit with aluminum and well, transportation. Aluminum, you know, look, we're seeing whether it be steel, where the hot, the hot rolled uh, steel is going down in price, we're seeing aluminum, and what you Johnson said is, look, we're gonna switch to PET. Now, will the people, particularly millennials, accept PET? They like aluminum uh, because it can be recycled. I mean, don't forget also, uh, millennials aren't big fans of soda to begin with. Carbonated beverage is what they call it. Mixed quarter, uh, but I felt to the upside, it just always surprises me when people are worried about transport costs We've been saying transport costs are a problem. I mean, what's the deal? If you go and look at our downgrade, everything that was said on this quarter was what we said when we sold the stuff. Everything. Yeah. And so I know that you just talked to the PepsiCo CFO and cannabis. about cannabis, yeah. And so I, I know that also on October 13th, you're talking to the Constellation COO, and right. that's Don't a company that is getting into cannabis. Okay, let's understand. Uh, actually, there were reports that when he said that they weren't gonna move into cannabis, the stock went down. Cannabis is, uh, depending upon who you ask, and we're going to support us at the October 13 conference, which I th you must go to. Remember, because Canada starts October 17th. Uh, that's the complete repeal of okay, yeah. prohibition. There are edibles and there's beverages. Mm -hmm. And these are gigantic markets. We have actually seen the markets for alcohol go down in Oregon, but in Colorado. Now, that does not mean that it's necessarily going to replace carbonated beverages. But you know what? Who knows what PepsiCo business needs, what they need to be in. If you're in snacks, why do you have snacks? Well, you have snacks, salty snacks, you're watching a game. Well, why not have edibles? That's why I asked you about edibles. I think edibles are far more likely positioned for them. Constellation has put $5 billion in this. They obviously can take control of Canopy. They are not going to lose that uh, get high market. That beer is a get high, a buzz. Let's just call it buzz, okay? Yeah. The buzz is what you get from cannabis. If you are not going to focus on a buzz market, remember there's two markets. There's recreational, that's buzz, and then there's medicinal. Now, Canopy has both, but I keep going back to uh, the original Green Dutchman CEO, who was the CEO in the central eastern part of a uh, of Europe for Procter. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a $500 billion market. Who is going to pass up a $500 billion market when you have almost no organic growth at this point? And the answer is a company that is uh, that is afraid. Yeah. And I think that what now, see for beer, beer so heavily regulated that uh, Rob Sands is courting much more uh, uh, concern mm -hmm. than a soda company. But you know, I had to ask, and I had to ask because I think the market's so big. Yeah. And so I want to switch gears a little bit, and I okay. want to talk about your Mad Money segment on um, about Amazon last night. And I'm particularly interested in what you have to say about how Amazon, how retailers in general are responding to the Death Star. Yeah, and then of course mattresses, they come yeah, out against mattresses. Exactly. I just think that if, if you take a look at say a CVS, a Walgreens, CVS immediately pivoted, decided to become more of an insurance company. Yeah. That was really smart. I, the uh, supermarkets are trying to cut costs. There's an announcement today, we don't know the substance of it, Kroger and Walgreens. So I think that what, what you have to recognize is they're not standing still, and that's really the essence of it. People are not standing still. Yeah, so I know that um, Stitch Fix. Um, yeah, there was just the growth 
did decelerate. Now, yeah. that mean that it, it, it's going down, but the growth decelerated. Right. And you can't have a deceleration of growth when you have a stock that's moved so much. Yeah, so what's your advice for investors about Stitch Fix? They gotta re-accelerate growth, so it's in the penalty box for another quarter. Makes sense. Um, so, how do markets look for you this morning? What are you well, thinking? You know, I, you know, I think the markets are okay, but let's save that for the club call. Okay, which comes sounds right. good. So, I would love to chat more with you on um, Amazon sure. and the markets for the right, club Sam's call. Amazon's an axe alert. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.